This week on Pimp My Ride, four-wheel drive TV style, we hijack our man Liam's Stocko GQ 4x4, swing it past some of our sponsors and have it transformed into a trail-ready crossover, weekend warrior and outback tourer. From a roof rack to new rubber, Liam's 4 gets the four-wheel drive TV pimp treatment as we turn it from a stock rock into a track-devouring tank. All this and plenty more on tonight's special edition of four-wheel drive TV. I'm Simon Christie. That's enough of the jibbing, so let's get pimping. Fred lightly. Keep it safe. Play hard. As a long-term supporter, volunteer and staff member, Liam is an integral part of our small production team and plays a key role in ensuring that each and every episode of 4 Drive TV, your 4x4 and 4 Drive Pro Tips is finished and sent out on time. Not long after joining our team as a full-time cameraman and editor, Liam purchased a near-stock GQ Patrol and showed a keenness in supporting our dreams of seeing our TV shows grow. As such, it's an honour to be able to thank Liam for his service by pimping his 4 and the best place to start was to take control of Liam's weight problems and sort out his storage issues. G'day, Mark Oliver, Black Widow. We here at Black Widow Storage Systems are extremely excited to be involved in pimping Liam's GQ Patrol. Most people leave storage systems to last. In this case, we're going to do it first. By doing it first in Liam's GQ, we're able to set up all the things that Liam wants to take in his vehicle, such as his camping gear, his fridge and his recovery gear. All the things which impact on the weight carrying capacity of the vehicle. A quality storage system like this one is the safest way to store all of your four-wheel drive and camping gear. A good quality storage system would have been ADR crash tested to at least 150 kilos. And knowing that, Liam will be able to add his fridge up, his recovery gear, his camping gear. Once these weights are determined and Liam's happy with what he can do and what he can't do when he's away, he can then look at all his suspension options. Matching the suspension to the carrying capacity of the vehicle, such as the storage system, is very important. Having a very evenly spread weight across the vehicle also makes for a much safer trip. The next issue is space. There can be all sorts of accessories that can be fitted inside your vehicle. So having the layout sorted before you start the project allows you to know exactly where everything will go. As an example of this, in Simon and Miranda's GU Patrol, the drawer system is the only place where the second battery can be stored. So having the system in first lets us install all the other accessories around it. Without a storage system, Liam would expect to have his spares, his food, his fridge, camping gear, tools and etc bouncing around unrestrained in the back of his vehicle. This is not an ideal situation, and in fact, it's downright dangerous. With a quality storage system installed, Liam can safely store away all his gear under lock and key in the back of his car. Knowing that it's not gonna roll around, bounce around, Liam can simply roll out the drawers and find everything that he's put in there when he needs it. And that's the key to a storage system, being organized. And to further organise our mate Liam, we went for a Travelmate lightweight aluminium roof rack. At just 26 kilograms, but rated to support 150, a quality roof rack like this one is the ideal way to maximise and increase storage space in an all round recreational or touring 4x4. Fitting of the rack was done easily within an hour, and the resultant extra storage space will be put to good use when Liam is away filming for us, or is off with his mates camping and four wheel driving. To get even more from Liam's new Travelmate roof rack, we added a space case that offers dust and waterproof protection for its contents. The space case is lockable, can be permanently bolted to the rack, and its sturdy construction will ensure the safety of stored gear even under extreme circumstances. Black Widow are very proud to be involved in this pimping project with Liam's GQ, and we really look forward to seeing the finished product and Liam out there strutting his stuff.
Hi, I'm Brad from Mickey Thompson Tyres. Once again, we're proud to be involved with Four Drive TV's Pimp My Ride. Liam's got his storage system sorted out with a roof rack and his rear drawers, and now it's time to look at the tyres. Well, you've seen the footage of Liam's attempts off-road so far, and those tyres were really letting him down. One of the things that he mentioned was he just didn't feel like he had enough clearance. Well, today we're going to solve that with these new tyres. This should give him more clearance under his diffs and more off-road ability. Kind of a bit of everything. Let's go and look at why those tyres aren't working for him. Well, here they are, and it's no wonder Liam's having trouble off-road. I mean, look at these tyres. They're bald on the inside, so he's got no grip off-road. There's still a bit of tread on the outside edges, but these tyres, they're over 10 years old. Just look at the tread, it's all starting to crack up. There's a bit of scalloping here, so the new suspension that Liam's getting will sort that out. And I guess at the end of the day, if Liam's going to go four-wheel driving, he's going to go touring, this vehicle's got to be a real all-rounder. He can't have tyres like this letting him down, so let's get him off. Well, here's Liam's new tyres, Mickey Thompson Radial Claw. The number one thing he was looking for was more height. So he's not scraping the diff, get a bit more ground clearance when he's off-road. These tyres will achieve that. And then of course, it's a more aggressive tyre. So it's got this directional tread design, 23 degrees, the ultimate cutting angle for off-road driving. And then these, two-stage lug on the sidewall. All good mud tyres have this. It helps to give you a fresh cut or a fresh bite every time the tyre's rotating. And of course, the secret weapon with mud tyres is the side biter. And these ones are guaranteed to pull Liam through just about anything he's going to encounter off-road. Of course, Liam's a real four-wheel driver, so we're doing five new tyres. That means when he's rotating them, like he should, he'll get the maximum mileage out of them and he'll be confident that every tyre on the car is in top condition. Well, the tyres are on now and of course they look good, that's the main reason for pimping Liam's ride. A bit more tyre height, won't scrape the diff anymore. More capable off-road with that more aggressive off-road pattern. And just all round, he can be more confident when he goes out wheeling with his mates. The most important thing Liam needs to do now is maintain these tyres, check his pressures, get them rotated frequently. Above all else, go out there and have some fun. So from myself and Mickey Thompson tyres, we're really proud to be part of this pimp and we're looking forward to seeing Liam out there on the track with this. But of course, with the big tyres, he needs bigger suspension. So now he's got to get that sorted out. Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all-new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive weighting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. 30 second kitchen, a kitchen in 30 seconds. Fridge slide first. Fridge slide's got 130 kilo tracks in it, so it's nice and tough. Remove the R clip, don't lose it. Drop the pin, leg locker. Kitchen now. Lock kitchen down here. Retrieve the R clip. Lock on here, R clip in. Leg here, leg here. Pull them together. Stove, Billy. How good's that, guys? Couldn't ask for quicker. At Terrain Tamer, we've tried to take all the hard work out of four-wheel driving, so you can be an expert as well as an enthusiast. Our parts interpreters talk fluent four-wheel drive because we're talking with 40 years' experience. We've got all the four-wheel drive parts and accessories that you'll ever need, so you can toss them in the back for cheap insurance. When you're miles from the closest mechanic, you'll appreciate that advice. Terrain Tamer, we talk fluent four-wheel drive. Hi, I'm Matt Frost from ARB, and we're very excited to get behind Liam's GQ Patrol. 
These vehicles are an outstanding off-road vehicle and they really are a great platform to build up with a range of accessories. I was up at the recent ARB Outback 4x4 Extreme Challenge and was just amazed at how many patrols I saw up there. They really were the preferred vehicle of choice for competing and a lot of the spectators were driving them as well. And there's very good reason for that. The patrol really is an outstanding off-road touring vehicle. Very, very strong, hugely capable in the bush and there's heaps of them out there. Now the first thing we wanted to tackle was frontal protection, which is absolutely vital for any off-road vehicle that's doing any remote area touring. Recent research that was conducted by the four-wheel drive industry involving 40,000 four-wheel drivers revealed some staggering statistics just how common animal strikes are and just how much damage they can cause. One of the things that our recent research revealed was that a vehicle that was not equipped with a bull bar was 40 times more likely to be immobilised if it hit a kangaroo or other large animal compared to a bull bar equipped vehicle. So frontal protection really is a vital part of your off-road preparation. Of course, as well as providing protection for the vehicle, a good well-engineered bull bar also serves as an ideal platform for mounting things like winches, driving lights and CB antenna as well. So it really is a hugely worthwhile accessory to fit to any four-wheel drive vehicle. Suspension was a thing we were very keen to take a look at. This is Liam's day-to-day -day driving vehicle, so it's got to basically get him to work and back every day and get him into remote areas on the weekend. So it was very important that we chose a suspension package that was going to deliver outstanding improvements over all road surfaces, both on-road and off-road. As well as ride and handling improvements, a well-engineered integrated suspension system will also deliver improved ground clearance, which is extremely handy for off-road driving, as well as offering vastly superior load carrying characteristics as well. Now there are suspension systems available that will give the vehicle considerably more lift than what we've done here today, but we were very keen to maintain the on-road comfort of the vehicle. When you're selecting a suspension package for your vehicle, it's very important that you get a balanced suspension that gives benefits all rounds. There are too many suspension systems on the market that really just focus on increased lift. The problem with just focusing on lift is that you can end up with a situation where you actually destabilise the vehicle and increase the likelihood of a rollover at extreme side angles when you're going off-road. In the case of Liam's vehicle, we fitted a fully integrated Old Man Emi suspension kit, which is the perfect combination of improved ride height, better ride and handling, and improved load carrying capability as well. The huge benefit of the Old Man Emi suspension kit for the Patrol is that the whole system has been designed by the same team of engineers. By this, we mean that the coils and the shock absorbers are matched perfectly together to work in harmony, and they really do deliver outstanding improvements in ride and handling. The most popular suspension systems that we fit at ARB will typically give about 50 millimetres increase in lift. This is a great enhancement for off-road driving and certainly makes underbody components like transfer case and gearbox less prone to grabbing on rocks and so forth, but at the same time it doesn't interfere with the centre of gravity of the vehicle or in any way destabilise the vehicle. Now there's a huge variety of suspension components out there available for four-wheel drives, but it's very important that when you're choosing a suspension, you buy off a company that offers nationwide backup for both parts and service. There's too many companies now that sell through the internet but really don't have any infrastructure in place if you're out and about and you break something and you need that after sale support. In the case of Liam's vehicle, he can drive anywhere around Australia and have the peace of mind knowing that his suspension is backed up by a distributor network of over 130 authorised licence installers. We really enjoyed helping Liam outfit his vehicle and can't wait to see him using it out on the tracks. Now if Liam's planning on hitting the tracks with Simon, Danny and the rest of the crew from 4-Wheel Drive TV, he's going to need 100% traction on demand. So the final thing we fitted to his patrol is front and rear air lockers. 
The beauty of this system is that the differentials operate in a conventional open configuration when you're driving on the highway, but at the flick of the switch, the differentials lock, providing positive traction to all four wheels. This is hugely beneficial when you're traversing rough, uneven terrain, particularly on steep hills or muddy inclines. Given the traction improvement that air lockers generate, it allows you to approach obstacles in a far slower and more controlled manner and basically provides the vehicle with outstanding improvements in traction. And in a nutshell, they provide the vehicle with outstanding improvements in off-road capabilities. The other major benefit of air lockers is that the onboard compressor, which is part of the installation, can also be used for rapid tyre inflation as well. We've really enjoyed helping Liam outfit his vehicle and can't wait to see him using it out on the tracks. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometre warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Got a ute? Need more space? Need it to be safe and secure? And of course stylish? Then look no further than Carry Boy. Designed with the true lines of your vehicle in mind and the ultimate in functionality, a Carry Boy canopy will transform the look and performance of your utility. For more information on why Carry Boy are the world leaders in canopy design, durability and practicality, visit carryboy.com.au. When you need your manual gearbox rebuilt, don't start in reverse. Get it geared up right the first time with the team from 360 Gearboxes. As Australia's premium gearbox and diff specialist, 360 use the world's best gears, shafts, bearings and seals. 360 offer a guaranteed and quality changeover and A1 customer service. If your manual is grinding, crunching, sticking or blowing, demand the best 360 Gearboxes, a fast, reliable and high quality rebuild. For more info, visit 360gearboxesdiffs.com.au. A build-up of this kind wouldn't be complete without a reliable self-recovery unit like a mean mother winch. When looking at winches, you will want to look at quality. At times your life could depend on your winch, so don't think that cheap is the way to go here. A quality winch will come with everything you need, plus a rock solid warranty, professional customer service and a dealer network that can back you up just in case. Fitting a winch is easy, but there are a few key things to get right. Get power and earth directly from the battery. Ensure the bar is straight and strong and tighten the mounting bolts accordingly. Feed the rope on in the correct direction. The brake works one way and winching against your brake would not be a good thing. In relation to the bull bar, it's worth mentioning here that you should again go for quality. The market is flooded with cheap copy bars and whilst they may look like an ARB bar, they certainly aren't. We have seen copy bars bending, cracking, vibrating and breaking, plus winches pulling out of the centres and bending the bars. It's a good sign that you've got a cheap bar. And in many cases, these bars twist and bend so much that the winch is stopped or even breaks. So again, quality is the key with 4x4 gear. And as you can see here, Liam's bar and winch function perfectly together. Hi, I'm Paul Griffiths from Narva and we're excited to again be involved with another four-wheel drive TV Pimp My Ride. Liam's GQ Patrol is looking well equipped now, but it's time to set his vehicle up for some serious nighttime wheeling and some safe outback touring. To do this, Narva have advised on a range of lighting that will give Liam an effective, efficient and brilliant lighting solution for all of his needs. Up front, we've recommended a pair of HID Extreme driving lights. These lights will provide a blistering white beam that will light up the road like daylight. 
That's what HID lights do, provide light with a colour temperature much closer to daylight, which will be easier on Liam's eyes when he's on the road after dark. Even better, these HID lights draw very little current. These Narva Extremes draw less than 4 amps and they now also come with D1 ballasts, which dramatically improve ignition time and provide instantaneous re-ignition, so they're ideal for driving light applications. For immediate light, we've provided an IP68 rated professional LED light bar. The benefits of these light bars is that they provide a brilliant white light produced by the latest in high output LED technology, combined with low current draw and they have a high resistance to shock and vibration. The 10 watt LEDs in these bars draw little current and have no filament to break so they will withstand the toughest of off-road conditions. This powerful LED work lamp has six long life 3 watt LEDs, draws a low 1 amp at 12 volt and is designed for a tough environment. It features a die-cast powder-coated aluminium housing with an almost unbreakable polycarbonate lens and stainless steel mounting brackets and hardware. The 2000 lumens of white LED light produced by this lamp makes for easy reversing as well as making the lamp ideal for setting up camp, recovery or breakdown work. Liam is fully set now to take on any four-wheel driving and he can confidently tackle any nighttime situation with ease. We look forward to seeing him out there on the tracks. Hi, I'm Rob from Oricom and I'm proud to be back once again to help support the Pimp My Ride segment. We're going to help Liam with communications whilst he's away from the vehicle and whilst he's also in the vehicle. When touring around, Liam will have the opportunity to use the remote head 5 watt UHF CB that we have here and he'll be able to fit that anywhere in his four wheel drive. He'll be able to have good communications whilst on the road traveling around the four wheel drive tracks or out on the highway. He has cell core, he has all of the repeater channels and he also has the ability to have DCS and CTCSS. He also has controls on the top of the microphone so when he's talking and he needs to change channel quickly he's got the opportunity to do that. Whilst Liam's camped for the night and he might be away from the vehicle, we're going to give him some handheld one watt radios. He's going to be able to move away from the vehicle or in turn, if he's using it in a four wheel drive situation, he can have one and his spotter can have the other. If he's camped, he can have one while someone else who might be away from the campsite can have another radio and still talk back. Again, these are fully featured with all of the options fitted, all of the repeater channels, all of the frequencies, and he also has the opportunity of a voice operation so he doesn't have to press any button. Uh, with a belt clip, they have the opportunity to use the radio hands-free. They have the ability to be able to work with a winch. If he happens to be on a hard four-wheel drive track, he can have his hands free while still listening to the radio. And the person in the vehicle will be able to communicate with him through the remote head unit in the vehicle. So we're more than happy to be helping out with pimping Liam's ride. Getting the most out of any communications equipment is critical, so it's important to match quality radios with a quality antenna and ensure that it is all wired correctly. In this case, Liam opted for an RFI antenna. They're Australian made, manufactured from marine grade, high quality materials and feature unique flexible circuitry within the aerial itself. RFI antennas come with ample cabling as well as solder free terminals that make installation a snap. With Liam's GQ being a manual, we found that the old clutch was on its last legs and a new clutch was a priority. But we wanted something designed specifically for four-wheel driving and the four-terrain clutch kit was ideal. 
Unique in design, the Ford Terrain clutch features a solid face on one side of the plate and a segmented racing type finish on the other. This provides a balance between a high friction, low temperature racing style clutch and a smooth normal type car clutch. Add in heat resistant materials and the Ford Terrain unit offers a higher clamping and holding force, better cooking resistance, amazing pedal feel and the unique ability to be feathered, which is ideal for serious four-wheel driving situations. Well, viewers, that's it for another episode of Four Wheel Drive TV and another pimp out 4B completed by our team. Liam and I would like to send out a massive thank you to all of the sponsors involved. And of course, congratulations to Liam, but thank you to all of his support. I'm Simon Christie. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. I look forward to catching up with you again next week.